Hi there. My name is Marcus, and this is a video on how to set up a Java development environment on a Linux computer. More specifically, I'm on an Ubuntu 18.4 release, which is the latest LTS release of Ubuntu to this date. In this video, we're going to install a JDK, which is the de development kit for Java. We're going to install Maven, which is a very widely used build tool for it, Git for managing source code, and finally Node for dealing with front-end dependencies. The first thing we need to do is update the version of Node, because the version of Node that comes with Ubuntu is a little bit too old. The version I want to use instead is 12, which is the latest LTS release. I'm on Node Source, which is a site that has uh, distributions of Node for different Linux distros, and they have a little handy script that I can use to update the repositories in my in my package manager. Now what I need to do first though is install curl. So if you're on an entirely new Ubuntu installation and you haven't installed curl before, you need to do that first. So so go ahead and install that. We're going to use apt-get, install, and curl. I'll we'll ask you for a password. Try to type it correctly, and it should ask you to install some stuff. I already did this earlier, so uh, I didn't have to install anything new. Once you have curl installed, go ahead and copy over the code here, and I will put a link in the video description and also in the text version of this tutorial. You can find them there. And paste it into the terminal, hit enter, and this will update all of the repository so that you get the right version of Node when you uh, when you installed Node.js. So we're now ready to go ahead and install all the packages that we need. So again, we're going to use apt-get and we're going to install, first of all, OpenJDK, which is a open source JDK distribution, version 11, which is the latest LTS, and the JDK version of that which is the development kit, which we need in order to actually create our own Java software. Then we're going to install Maven, which is a build tool and a dependency management tool. We're going to install Git so that we can have a tool for managing our version uh, or to version our software. And finally, we're going to install Node.js that we just updated above. Now, depending on your internet connection speed, this will take a little while. Uh, there we go. And then we'll just verify that it works. So we can try make sure that we have Java installed uh, version. And you can see that we have Java 11 installed. So now we have all the actual tools that we need uh, to build a Java application. The other thing that we need is a IDE or a editor for our code. Here I'm going to use IntelliJ, which is my personal favorite IDE for Java development. We're going to use the community edition. It's going to be fine for most of the stuff that you're going to build. You can see on the IntelliJ download page, there's a tarball that we could install on any distro. But since we're on Ubuntu, we can use the snap package, which is a little bit easier to install. So if you're on a distro that supports snap, uh, just go ahead and copy this and again, paste it into your terminal, hit enter, and it's going to get installed. If you're not using snap, there are instructions in the text version of this tutorial uh, that you can copy paste and uh, install the tarball through them. With this installed, you can go into your apps and launch IntelliJ. And the first time it uh, launches, it'll ask you a couple of questions. Uh, first of all, if you want to import any settings, we don't have any previous settings that we want to import, so we can just hit OK on that. Then it'll ask us for a UI theme. We're just going to go with the dark theme. We don't want to change any of the default plugins. If you definitely know that you want to use different version control software or build tools, go ahead and configure those here. And you can just go with all the defaults if you're at all unsure of what to do. So now we have 
IntelliJ installed, we've got all the tools installed that we need. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at how we can import a Java project into IntelliJ, how we run it, how we can debug software and do all of that good stuff. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you get updates on when that next video comes out. And go ahead and check out the text version of this tutorial so you get links to all the web pages that I showed here, and you can copy paste all the commands needed to install the tools here. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.